Hello, friends. I've never done anything like this. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Here is the lamb testicle. Ta-da. My first shepherd's pie. How we relate to the cosmic infinite. Hello, friends. <clears throat> Yo, what's up? I learned from Chef Gordon Ramsay that I've never actually had a shepherd's pie. I've only ever had cottage pie. Because my mom never liked to cook with lamb growing up. So she would make what she would call uh, shepherd's pie. But come to find out, since it didn't have lamb, it's technically not shepherd's pie. Because shepherds don't lead, lead. Shepherds don't guide. Shep, whatever. Shepherds don't tend to flocks of cows. It's to flocks of flocks. Is it a flock of sheep? Herd? A herd of sheep? <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna make my first time cooking shepherd's pie. First time, I think, also eating shepherd's pie. And we're gonna use uh, purple sweet potatoes. And we're also gonna use a lamb testicle. So, here we go. Purple sweet potatoes. I like to score it with a little X with a knife. I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 400 degrees. So that's about a pound and a half of the sweet potatoes in the oven, 400 degrees. Here is the lamb testicle from the same lamb that I got that nice shoulder from that Jason killed. It's really squishy. I had a defrosting overnight in the fridge. Very interesting feeling. So what we gotta do is we gotta cut that and separate this membrane. This red stuff's actually just like the membrane, kind of like the scrotum. So we're gonna take that off. And we're gonna cook this up with some ground lamb from Nature's Reserve. Grass-fed lamb from Australia. We got some garlic, we got an onion, some shallot. And uh, we're gonna throw in a little Guinness. Good old shepherd's pie with a little, little Irish stout. And then here I have some lamb broth that I made. And we're gonna use this tallow at the top, this nice lamb fat to cook up our stuff in. I was thinking about using bacon fat. I have some bacon that I wanna cook up, and maybe use bacon fat. We can include that into the dish as well. But, you know, let's just stick to one animal. That sounds like a good idea. So let's, uh, let's prep this. First, what you don't like beer? All right, so it's for you, Ryan. Prep our veggies. I also got some peas. We're gonna throw in some some green peas organic carrots, maybe one celery stalk. Mm. Oh, garlic. Completely forgot to get fresh herbs at the supermarket, so no fresh herbs. Unless I have some, like, maybe I have some fresh thyme in the fridge. I was thinking maybe sage. Purple sweet potato and sage. In retrospect, I probably should have used a smaller onion, but it's cool because I'm the only one that this is for, and I really like onion. If you're making this for yourself and you, you're not as much of an onion person as I am, I mean, I'm not, I say that like I love onions. I, 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 I thoroughly enjoy onions, but anyway. Garlic, shallot, onion, carrot, celery. Another little small chunky, chunky boy of garlic. And you have about an hour to prep all this, quote unquote, filling of the pie. It's about how long the sweet potatoes take to cook. So we're gonna let them cook till they're soft, take them out, let them cool a little bit, and uh, mash them up. 
and some other seasonings or whatever, and then we're gonna <clears throat> take all that delicious cooked lamb and vegetable mix, have that as the base, potatoes on top. It's gonna be a good old party. Cook cam. We got a nice big chunk of tallow from this jar of broth, which looks pretty nice. Looks like it's developed some good gelatinous likeness. Heat this on a medium high, throw my veggies in and reduce it to a medium. So it was probably about two tablespoons, maybe even a little more. Let this cook, and we'll prep this lamb testicle now. Rip it, maybe? There's a membrane that is encasing rest of the testicle. The test of the resticle. Test of the resticle. Test of the resticle. Ooh. Test of the resticle. Alright. Test of the resticle. Wow. Ain't that something funny looking? Wow. Where do we go from here? Cut this off? You know, I'm gonna look it up. We'll come back later after I look it up. Before you know, what if I just cut this thing in half? <laughs> wow, it smells like, actually smells pretty good, like seafood. I mean, that's why they call it oysters. Still a little bit frozen on the inside, but I'm really surprised how good it smells. So you don't forget to flip your mirror cloth. Staying alert with what you got going on on the oven top. Hmm. Well, let's cut it again. What I'm thinking is we'll just cut this into little pieces. Kind of like we would with liver. Just treat it like any other organ meat. What an interesting texture. We'll cut it into small little cubes, if you will. Cube the balls. <laughs> Test of the resticle. Keep flipping your dog. Trim away this membrane bit from all these pieces if possible. Looks like some of it's just kind of going right off. Cool. So I recommend doing that if you can. Wow, look at that. Crazy looking veins. Cooking another beast's testicles. Nice friends. Organic frozen peas. Cut a cup. Um, yeah. Frost a little bit and mix it all in with everything else. 
Alright, we're gonna set this aside so we can start cooking the lamb. Okay, we'll add some of that lamb tallow. Throw the lamb in there. Keeping it on medium. A little sea salt. A little black pepper. Set it kind of to one side. Throw in the lamb testicles. Salt, pepper. Gonna have little chunks of balls. Interesting smell. What should we add? Ah, you know, you can never go wrong with little herbs de Provence. Crush it up, release them. Aromas, a couple teaspoons. Those balls look cooked, so we'll mix it all in. Oh, you could also throw in mushrooms. That'd be a great thing, especially like if you can find wild mushrooms, depending on what time of year it is. Oh, snap. I done goofed. I was gonna throw in this tiny little butternut squash. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to cook it. Let's see what time it is. Let's see if I have time. So I might have time to do this. I might not, we'll see. Tiny ass little fucking butternut squashes. Super little. I'm gonna throw that in the oven for like, I don't know, <clears throat> half hour, see if it's done by the time everything else is done. And I'm gonna include this in it. So throw this back into it. We might need a bigger pie dish. Mix it nice and good. Mmm. I have an idea. We're gonna take some of Dr. Cohen's uh, leek powder. I feel like leek would be a nice touch. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. A really good quality vegetable powder. All right, you know what? Throw in some Guinness. Maybe a quarter cup. And I'm also gonna throw in some of the lamb stock. So that way this can like reduce down, get a nice sauce out of it. And then the bottom will be all saucy like. It smells damn good, I'll tell you. There's the butter and the squash. See how it's like oozy. Reducing down. Smells great. Nice rosemary in there. Mm. After the purple sweet potatoes have peeled enough, cooled enough. Just peel them and smush them into a bowl, the insides. You could reserve the skins for this trick that I'm about to show you right now. I got them skins, some organic coconut sugar, sprinkle it on top. Get some type of curry powder that you like. This is just a, a jar that has some curry powder that uh, I bought the curry powder at the Indian market and then just put it in this jar. You can get creative and mix other types of spices. You can do cayenne, you can do maple syrup instead of brown sugar. And then we're gonna throw these in the oven and it'll kind of crisp up and they'll make like these like chips. Purple sweet potatoes are still hot. We are going to add we, <laughs> you mean we, Colin, you're gonna add Hey, you're right. Colin speaking to me through third person or something. I'm gonna add some butter to the sweet potatoes. All right, the butter's added. Just like plop it over so it'll melt. When you were little, did you ever make like a mashed potato volcano and you put the butter in the center and you smooth it out? Okay, 
I think it's about ready for that stuff. Come on out of here. Safety first. I'm only grabbing no hot shit now. What, you think you're hot shit now? You think you're hot shit? So that is good. I mean, you know, it's already cooked. Just, oh, yeah. That is nice, nice consistency. It, it kind of caramelizes. This is pretty cool. Butternut squash. Notice I poked it and found out the uh, consistency. See how soft it is? It's got very little pressure. And it is just sinking into it. So that's good. I put a little ghee in here about five minutes after it was in the oven. And I'm going to scrape this out. You'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to scrape all this out and kind of decorate the top of the shepherd's pie there and do a nice contrast between the purple and like this orange yellow. It's going to be cool. And we'll start constructing our shepherd's pie. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. <clears throat> Hello, friends. Oh, shit, it's just a welcome back. It's not like... Same fucking episode. Shit. All right. Mashed purple sweet potatoes. I transferred all that goodness in the wok to uh, this baking dish. I reduced the heat in the oven down to uh, 350. Oh, this might be like just perfect. And I didn't do anything to these sweet potatoes other than just adding the butter because they're already so freaking delicious. And I'm going bold with this purple sweet potato because I've never seen anyone do this before. I'm figure why not try it because that's how uh, things are done. These are local sweet potatoes that I got from the gentleman who kind of are down by the Walmart near the Home Goods on Route 40, Beat Happy Valley Farms. Go check out the uh, lamb shoulder episode. It's such a beautiful color, this purple pigment that turns some of the stuff blue underneath. Just spreading it around, smearing it. surface such contrasting color do a sun a sunset you know sometimes it's fun Basically, potato and shit pie, but you can call it whatever you want, I guess. These days, things are just a little wild, but I guess it's all about how we live through it and how we, we love each other, how we support our families, how we relate to the cosmic infinite, how well we smear or gently layer fall vegetables. To a, oh, this is like an autumn shepherd's pie. It's nice how seasonal this is. This just grew in my side yard, and here I am making a cool, cool thing out of it. Sunshine. Isn't that cool? I ain't never done anything like this before.
beautiful. I've never done anything like this. This will throw this in the oven for like 10 minutes or something. After I just love it more and maybe take a picture of it and gosh. It has been about a half hour, which I reckon. It's good. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. Ta-da. My first shepherd's pie. Both making it, eating it. My first lamb's testicle. Both making it, eating it. So, got these little crisps that I showed you. Please tell me it's all, okay, cool. Yeah, it hasn't been blurry or nothing. You can take these little crisps dig right in, but first I'm gonna take some pictures. Crisp. It's a little piece of the lamb testicle. Here. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Testicle blends in very nicely. Like you could probably use a lot of different offal meats, and you know, in proportion to the the beef or the ground lamb, not beef. So you could do like liver if you want. You could do some kidney, which I'm probably gonna do a steak and kidney pie soon. That's a nice approach. I mean, obviously it's gonna be way different than a regular shepherd's pie with regular white potatoes. Wow. I'm happy with this. Autumn balls. Shepherd's pie. Alright. I'm gonna go now. Reminders. Go watch the lamb shoulder video. Shoot me a message. If you want to see something be cooked by me, or if you want to hang out, maybe get on the show. That can be funny. Alright, peace out.